Google loves updated content, meaning you going back to old blogs or old pages and updating and making that content more fresh and more relevant to today. It might be a really well-performing blog or a blog that was performing well in the past, but isn't. I'm gonna show you how you can very easily update those blogs by adding interactive elements with the help of Claude artifacts, and this will vastly enhance the overall SEO or the performance of that blog. If you don't know who I am, my name's Nico. I run an AI-powered SEO agency. More importantly, I run an, an online community called the AI Ranking and Automation Hub, where we teach you everything you need to know about helping you rank with the power of artificial intelligence so your website gets to the number one spot of Google. So what we're gonna do is use this blog that I've got here that's quite old. It's just updated it now, but it's been around since 2023. And what I added to it, it's about SGE, search uh, generative experience, when it was starting to be a very big thing last year. And it was getting a little bit old. So what I did is I added this little interactive element that is just a content optimization quiz. So if you answer this and you get more than four of the five questions correctly, you win a little link to make a booking with me. So it's a little interactive element that I think is quite cool. This is a very simple example, but you can do many other different things. But I just want to show you here that it functioned and I created this in a matter of minutes. So for example, what is the primary focus content of SGE? Providing answers that are difficult to complex. I'm just gonna answer these questions quickly. Hopefully I get, hopefully I get them right. Use natural and conversation language, personalize, providing value to you. So hopefully if I've done this correctly now, it said you've scored four out of five, Whew, thankfully. Congratulations, you've earned our meeting with our experts. Schedule your meeting here and it gives you a link to make a booking with me. Really simple. Silly use case, but what it does is that it increases retention time or on-page time on that blog, and that's also really, really good for SEO. So it's good for your SEO because you've updated your blog, but you're also giving it a feature that's interactive and increase the time on page for a reader, which is two little clicks and thumbs up for an SEO perspective from Google. So what you're gonna do is go to Claude and Claude AI has this new feature called Artifacts. If you haven't used it already, you need to insert the experimental feature and have this on. But what I've done is given it this quick prompt and I'll leave the prompt in the video description below. The prompt is the following. I'm going to give you the content of an old blog that I've published on a website. I want you to read the blog and understand its main points and content. Your job is to create an interactive HTML element that we can embed into the blog post that we can improve the overall experience of someone reading the blog post. The interactive element must add value to the blog and help the user understand the main points that we're trying to make through the blog. It's going to be in HTML5, simple, so that we can embed it into our pre-existing blog. The idea is to increase the retention of someone reading the blog. So you wanna give it a lot of background because Claude is quite clever like that. I'm going to just copy and paste the entire blog post here and see what it comes up with. Hopefully it's gonna come up with the same element. Again, it's done a quiz. A lot of times it, do, it does a quiz and that's fine by the way, but you can do, if you've got a lot of graphs and everything, you could do interactive sliders and whatnot. It's really up to you into your imagination. If you don't like what it gave you, then just tell it to do something else. We've already made a questionnaire. Let's see if we can make an interactive slider, see what it comes up with. And the beautiful thing about Claude and the artifacts is that you can see real time what you are generating and test it out, which I really like because technically you can do this with ChatGPT 4.0 or 4.0 mini is more than capable of coding these things for you. But what I like is that I can preview it side by side here. Perfect, so now it's made a little slider for me because I didn't want to do a simple questionnaire. I already showed you that, but here traditionally search versus SGE comparison, what it's supposed to look like. If I slide this over, it's gonna give me the SGE comparison, which is kind of true because SGE gives you the answer of what you're looking for right away in a sentence as opposed to just feed you blue link. So that's good enough for now. I'm going to copy this or just preview the code and see the elements that I wanna copy. Usually I can just copy all the way from the head down to the closing body script here, that should be enough. And you're thinking, well, okay, what if I've got something like Wix or Squarespace or even WordPress, how do I insert that into the blog post? Well, in any website builder, you'll have the ability to insert code snippet. For example, I've got my blog in the back end here I'm on a Webflow website, but that's beside the point that doesn't really matter. So what you wanna do is, for example, you will have the option to add this little code block or search code block or code code editor, HTML input within your CMS in the back end, and you should be able to add 
this piece of code. Now I've copied the code from Claude here and I've just done the body section, not the HTML section. And I wanna go back to my blog here and copy this. I'm gonna save it and save everything here. I need to publish this as well. And now once that's published, I'm gonna go back again to the front end of my blog and just double check it and make sure that it's working as I wanted it to. So that should be done now. I'm going to refresh the blog post. So instead of the questionnaire, it should have the little slider here. And here we go. <laughs> Here's my blog post here. And here is traditional search with SGE comparison. I slide it over and it shows me what the SGE result should look like. Pretty cool. And now even if someone plays with that, you know, a couple of times, a couple of seconds, there's a couple of actions that are happening. One, I'm staying longer on the page and two, I'm clicking a couple of assets. All are signs of a good experience on your blog, which is really good. Again, this is all free because you can do this with Claude. You can also do this with ChatGPT, but a really, really easy component to add. I just like doing it in Claude because it allows you to preview what you're actually building here. Really easy strategy because you've ate it and made it to the end of the blog. There's one final thing that I'm going to give you here is that once you update that and you publish your blog again, you need to kind of tell Google to recrawl your website because it has this new cool interactive parameter to it. You want to go to your Google Search Console. If you don't know what that is, I highly recommend you install Google Search Console. Once you're here, you go to uh, your inspection of search results and you want to place your blog URL in there. It's going to tell you, retrieve the data from it when it made the last crawl. We can see here probably that it already has been indexed, which is good, but we want to request indexing so that it searches through it again and uploads those new parameters that you've added to your blog then you'll see the difference in the result of that blog post a couple of weeks or a month into the future which is what you want ideally see that positive results perfect now that it's the indexing has been requested i can be sure that in a week or two google's going to crawl through my website again update those new changes and my blog post will now be updated because it's fresh relevant i've updated google likes that and i've also added a really cool interactive component i hope you like that tutorial it's a really nice and simple strategy to do particularly if you've got blogs that somehow are not performing as they used to try that and it's probably going to do some wonders to it. Again, thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.